I'm going to talk about this um, Zooming presentation software called Prezi. Sometimes I call it Prezi by mistake. <laughs> it's apparently called Prezi. Um, so to demonstrate it, I'll just uh, do it, and I'll do one, and then you'll see what it is. And I think it's quite fun. I just sort of tripped over it on the internet somewhere. It's an alternative to PowerPoint. Um, so what is it? I'll show you it in a sort of fairly eclectic way, and you can see. Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> So you download it from the Prezi website, so if you put Prezi into Google, um, you get to this nice website, and you edit it online, and then you can download a version which goes on any computer with a little program so that your computer knows what, what the heck it is. Um, then, so my presentation is slightly eclectic, you can put an eclectic presentation on, so this is, do you know any good optical illusions? This is a guy sticking his own paper together. Here's an elephant with strange legs. And here's a lady in the trees. Um, oh yes, now I thought you might want to know, is it reliable? I think it's fairly reliable, but there was one story on the web of a guy going completely berserk. Um, what he tried to do was plan an entire weekend's conference on one Prezi. Prezi. <laughs> and um, he'd uh, make different sections according to different speakers, and then they'd all, um, uh, you know, got smaller and smaller. So um, he zoomed down and down for a whole weekend's work, and he didn't naturally back it up, which of course you can do. You just put save as, and then it saves a different copy, but he didn't do that. And then he was very surprised when all his work just completely disappeared one day. And here's Tintin, who I love. <laughs> So that's, but um, Prezi said when they read this tragic story on the internet, well, it's not really designed to do, you know, huge things like that. So that's a word of warning. Mm -hmm. um, finally, what is the meaning of the life? The meaning of life is a Monty Python film, apparently, which I haven't seen. <laughs> so that's the sort of thing you can do. Um, but the advantage of Prezi is that that was just going along in a pre, uh, preconceived line. But actually, you can see my whole talk is um, just laid out like that. And in theory, actually, I'm not sure this is going to work. In theory, oh yes, I can sort of scroll around now and interact with the audience. And you can tell me which bits of my prospective talk you might want to hear a bit more of. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, very quickly in my seven minutes, has anyone got one question of any of these things? Is that even legal? It is. <laughs> Has she ever used this on real humans? Who on earth is she? I think they're my three variables. Will someone pick one? Has she ever used this on real humans? Have I ever <laughs> used it in real life? So then I can sort of zoom in onto this. Um, I haven't actually got any zoomy bits on that question, but yes, I did once try it on some computer people in my local computer society to show them. I, I told them about 23 things, actually. I didn't say it was 23 things came, but I sort of imagined I'd made it all up from my head. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> so uh, that's that. Now, I expect you want to know how to do it, so there's a very quick little um, video here of um, how it's done on the internet. Which, uh, close. Oh, yes, I think that's really good. Can we skip the again? Oh, yes, okay. So um, you double click, uh, you know, you have your own Prezi, and you double click on it anywhere, you know, on the website, you set it up, and then you just write your things in, like this, and this, this sort of blue thing is called a zebra, and um, <laughs> the middle of the zebra, if you click on the middle, it moves things around, if you click on the sort of outside ring, it, the very outside ring turns things around, and the middle ring makes things bigger or smaller. <laughs> it's quite tricky to do, really. Um, that's why I thought I'd show you this one, which is much more professional looking than my one, <laughs> uh, with beautiful pictures and things. And then you can see, you know, how you could do it if you're a real expert and uh, were very good at it. And then uh, you sort of 
you get things from the corner here. The path is where you put which order you want things done in, so you're going to tell it to click things, uh, click on the order you want it all done in. And you, finish. And you set it in these grey frames. Like and then that's about it. And the show is when you want to, um, you know, do a sort of not a PowerPoint show. And the advantage is that, you know, it's supposed to be a bit more interactive, mm. uh, a bit less linear, and uh, just quite fun, really. And so I think that's it. That's all I have to say. And you didn't get the one minute, please. No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I did want to actually book um, just quickly. Um, I promised a friend I would mention his digitisation of libraries conference um, on the 14th of October for the Independent Libraries Association. So I put a thing about it on the website, and if anyone wants, please pay for that.